Hey guys, Doc Hepps here. So you remember the old school Reebok pump? What if I told you that there was something that kind of works in a similar fashion to help you achieve an excellent erection? Well, stay tuned. I'll give you the scoop on that and what a penile prosthesis is all about. Hey guys, Doc Hepps here with Eurocoach. So you thought a prosthesis was just for your arms and legs. We're going to talk about a penile prosthesis. Who might be a candidate, how it works, just give you some general oversight on what's, what this is all about. So appreciate your time and thanks for watching. What's a penile prosthesis? Well, let me go over some of the anatomy of the penis. Think of the penis as three tubes. At the top of the penis, there's two cylinders that fill with blood. And at the bottom is a tube where the urine comes out called the urethra. So when the penis is working great, the urethra is normal, your penile normal, and those two cylinders that fill with blood work great. They fill up, the blood vessels are nice and relaxed, and they just open up great, and the, the blood stays there. And then when, when you're done and don't want erection anymore, those cylinders just deflate, the blood comes out, and you're stimulated again, blood flow comes in, and so on and so on. But over time, men's erections deteriorate. And it can be for multiple reasons. It could be from vascular, hardening of the arteries of the penis, hormone, neurologic, and psychologic. Many different things affect the erection. In any events, most commonly, we try medicines first in those gentlemen with ED, such as Viagra Cialis. Sometimes we'll try injections, a vacuum device. We may send gentlemen to a psychologist to help with a psychologic component, to help with erections. And then ultimately, a gentleman may decide on a surgical procedure. And that surgical procedure is called a, a penile prosthesis. In general, there's two kinds of prosthesis. The most common one is called an inflatable prosthesis. Generally, that's a three-component prosthesis, and that's what we'll be focusing on. Uh, in this video. There's also something called a two-piece prosthesis, and these are for gentlemen who, but don't have the manual dexterity to work the pump that goes along with the uh, uh, traditional uh, penile prosthesis. So what's this all about? Penile prosthesis is a surgical device. It's an implant. Basically, there's three components to this. There's a pump, there's a reservoir that holds fluid, and then there's two cylinders that fill and with that fluid, uh, the pump takes a fluid from the reservoir into the cylinders and then back from the cylinders into the reservoir. So this is all surgically implanted. The cylinders go into those two tubes. They talked about where the blood flow used to work great into the penis. The reservoir that's connected by a little tubing goes into the lower abdomen area. And then the pump that takes the fluid from the reservoir into the cylinders is located in the scrotum, kind of hidden behind one of the testicles. So it's a surgical procedure. It takes about an hour to an hour and a half uh, for the implantation. There's risks, like with any surgery, we worry about our infection. Bruising, swelling is common with this procedure. Some discomfort. Usually you're admitted overnight for antibiotics or possibly go home that same day. It takes about four to six weeks before you activate the prosthesis. For the right man, this is a great option. Uh, some men just, the medicines don't work. Uh, they don't want to use injections into the penis to try and help their erection. And this is a great option that can last for decades. Penile prosthesis is a great option for the right gentleman. It's a very effective procedure. It maintains your sensation. It also gives you an effective ability to have an erection that can last for as long as you want uh, at any time without having to wait and inject the penis or take a pill. Hopefully this gives you a brief overview of what a prenile prosthesis is about, whether it may be something that's right for you. And it's worthwhile talking to your doc more about it. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos and uh, appreciate your time.